Africans are demanding an immediate end to NATO's bombing campaign on Libya, saying the claims of wanting to save civilians is merely a pretext for their own selfish goals. Never again in our lifetime shall we ever allow Africa to be recolonized. Because the agenda that is going on in Libya is but just a tip of the iceberg of what the imperialists want to do on the continent. The South Africans for Peace in Africa initiative marched to the embassy of the United States and the British High Commission here to hand over their list of demands. They say academics across the continent, such as Professor Mahmoud Mamdani, have also voiced their support for the campaign. One of the main calls is for the African Union's roadmap on Libya to be implemented and for Africans to be allowed to solve the Libyan conflict. Some say NATO's intervention has just prolonged the war. I come from Ethiopia and my ancestors, you know, if I remember my ancestors, when foreigners come to take over the country, they always unite, despite the fact of what little wrong they see among us each other. So I, my imagination is that even the Libyans will be like that. Although they may not like, perhaps, Gaddafi, they probably will side with him now. Protesters argue one of the key means of avoiding further bloodshed globally is to hold leaders guilty of launching wars accountable. Why is it only terrorism when it is Osama bin Laden? Why, why is it not terrorism uh, when it, it is America, when it is Britain, when it is France? Why, why can't we hold uh, Obama, Cameroon and Sarkozy and take them to the ICC? Why, why is the international community not standing up to say these people are responsible for a genocide in Libya, they are responsible for a gen genocide in Iraq? The South Africans for Peace in Africa initiative says they are working with civil groups in other parts of the continent now as well in order to launch a continent-wide campaign against the NATO-led bombing of Libya. But they say it's also important that people in countries such as the United States and other NATO member countries also stand up against the government's actions. Hassan Siria Press TV, Pretoria.